Today we will create a very simple fountain with a bottle and also prove the dependency of fluid pressure on height. Let's take a plastic container and make three holes at three different heights. So let's mark the position of the holes. Let's say this is the first hole which is at this much height from the base. This is the second hole and this is the third hole. Now why I have taken these three holes diagonally is because if we mark the three holes exactly vertically one above the other, so when we look at the water flow, the water flow from the three holes might interfere with each other. So to get a clear view, this is how we position the holes. Now let's make the holes, for that we make use of a knife, heat it on the candle flame and then make a hole. Now make sure that all the three holes are exactly of the same size. So now we have placed the container on a high platform and we pour some water into this. So we have added this blue dye to the water just to give a better visualization. Now just observe the flow of water from the three different holes. So you would see that the water is coming out with maximum speed from hole number 3 which is at the bottom and water is coming out with minimum speed from hole number 1 which is at the top. So why does this happen? This happens because we know that the fluid pressure is dependent on height or depth. So in this case for hole number 1 this is the depth right. Now as we move on to hole number 2 this is the depth. For hole number 3, this is the depth. So as we move from hole number 1 to 3, we see that the depth keeps increasing. And therefore, the speed with which the fluid comes out also increases. And that is why we see this difference in the flow of water. So now you gradually see that as the total net level of the water is reducing, what's happening? Hole number 1, very little amount of water is flowing and gradually after some time, as the level further decreases, water will stop flowing from hole number 1. And the same would hold true for hole number 2 as well after some time. This simple experiment proved that the pressure of a fluid is dependent on its height or depth. So I hope you will also perform this experiment and share your feedback with us. Like and share the video, subscribe to our channel to get daily updates. Thank you.